guys welcome back to another video um, of, from Tango Protocol um, in this video we'll be making our first mini project covering all the lessons from last time so that being operations, data types, concatenation and uh, variables um, and why we are doing a project is because it's important to cement the syntax and rules we've learned from Python in a project so we understand how we could use them and why we use them and um, I'll be make I'll make sure this project is easy for um, the new programmers and challenge, challenging enough for um, for you to think if you find this video helpful Make sure to subscribe as it will help me and if you have any questions make sure to comment below because I'll answer any questions. Without further ado we'll um, get into the video. First things first we'll make a new file rather than having to work with uh, hello world.py. We'll call this new file um, projects.py um, just so we can just separate these two. Uh, now we have projects. Obviously, we can open this back up at a later time. So it's fine. We didn't delete that. All right. So last few ep uh, videos we went through um, operators. Pretty sure I've placed my configuration, uh, data types, and variables. So we'll be So we'll be covering these four in this video. Um, so the project is, let's just say we have a we have a person. So we want his name and his age or hers, and then we with uh, age. What we do with age is we figure out how many days that person has lived for so so keep in mind there's 365.25 days we're trying to be precise with leap years to 365.25 days in a year and we want to work out uh, how many days uh, the person has lived for Obviously, it won't be precise since we don't take uh, take into account of the um, birth day, uh, the full birth day, and um, the current day. And then, what we do is we concatenate uh, both of uh, the the name and the name and the days lived and what else we can what else we can do is um we've covered variables here we've covered concatenation covered operators so for data types what we could do is um actually we have covered data types as floats so we've covered everything here with this simple project so Pause the video now. Spend as long as you need to work this out. Um, obviously, obviously, there's hundreds of ways of doing this, and there's uh, different ways of naming variables. So if you uh, if you get if you get a different style of answer than to mine, and it still works, um, it's still good. So um, I'm gonna pause the video. Pause the video here. And I'll give you five seconds. Um, but obviously spend as much time as you need
Alright, so five seconds have gone past and we need to chat uh, we need to first take in a person some information about a person. So we do persons we could just do name or you could have wrote pers uh, person's name. But for now we'll just do name. Name equals uh, input. Make sure this is a input, a non-in input, since we are taking in a string, which is a name. So enter name, uh, and then age equals in input. Remember, we are taking a we, we want to do some math operation with this age and we do we don't want to really have it as a string so we make it to integer um, before we do anything with it so enter age now let's just print name and then age and since I'm not using an F string here, there's no need to put an F string here since this is a simple concatenation. Um, this is just concatenating name with age. Um, I just want to see, I just want to see um, if this works. And it's important to test your code time to time so you can debug what what went wrong with your code. Um, so we just run this. Um, pull this up a bit. We delete this. Alright. So um, we enter a name, Joe, um, and then enter age. Let's just say 27, and then that is what is uh, that's the expected expected output. And then let's see what happens if you try to do some sort of math operation with age. The age, and um, let's just say divided by 10. Run. Joe, Joe, and then 27, and then it returns 2.7. Um, clear, guys. That's right so far. And uh, now let's go to let's implement how many days we have left for. So we've done this we don't need this comment anymore we can now write days equals age times 365.25 remember this is a float number you're timesing a float number by integer so integer times by float number will return a float number uh, so let's print days run this and we do 27 and that is pretty much how many days to have lived for um, and then we can we could print uh, f string and then we can do name as lived for a uh, days days. So let's just do this again. Joe, and then we do twenty-seven. Ah, oh, not twenty-seven. My bad. Um, well, it's Joe, but uh. String will string what the string one output an error. So this is pretty much what we wanted to do. So if you manage to do this, congrats! You've uh, you've completed the first project. But I do want to teach more uh, on how to make this more clean because we know a uh, names should start with a capital even if the user did input a capital letter and maybe it's probably a bit more cleaner if we rounded this up or down so 
what we can do is to fix the capitalization part what we can do is when we get an input from the user we do dot title and this is an inbuilt function so what function is is some bit line of code that um, does the program uh, uh, does something for you which you didn't write Python has written for you and um, all you have to do is call its name with the dot and it'll and it'll do what the code does how you know um, functions in Python is uh, you go to Py uh, Google you can write Python documentation uh, no Python um, function actually it's module thing module documentation or just Python modules uh, So here, so there's a Fibonacci module, which uh, you can call by doing fib equals fibo.fib. Uh, there's way more you can look at. I'll put the documentation down in the description. Um, so yeah, let's just ru let's just run this without um, adding the brackets because there is some mistakes you can make. You could forget to add the dot and you can forget to add the brackets so let's add the dot run this uh, Joe Joe and 27 and it comes with this weird shrimp and what this is is telling you this is a built-in uh, uh, method um, sorry they're not called modules it's Python methods and you should find Python methods in here. Um, my body is Python methods. And uh, how we. So, this is basically returning the location of the method in your CP, uh, RAM. So, how do we actually return the value? Uh, we just add a bracket, uh, clear, run it, Joe, and then 27. And then you can see it's been capitalized for us. We didn't have to do any sort of um, additional work. Um, now let's fix the issue with uh, there being a, a decimal with days. So what we can do is when we create this variable, we could round it off. So what what we really need to do is basically round it off. And in Python, there's a um, function called round uh, and this function basically has two parameters we'll go on more detail what parameters are but for now we just understand there's a function and the first before the comma it takes in the operation you want which is this operation after the comma is uh, how many dec decimal places you want to go we want it to go to zero decimal places so we run it Joe and then 27 and then it goes to 9862 um, let's see what happens if we do one decimal place run and then we do Joe 27 and then it's 98618 so let's put back to, that back to zero um, Joe and then 27 but this still looks um, untidy because of this decimal place. What we can do is make this into an integer and then a float. Run this. Joe uh, 27. And now we've got how many days um, with the capitalization. So that's about it for the project. If you didn't manage to do this, um, I would highly recommend to go back to the previous videos cement all these uh, cement all of these syntax and uh, basics of Python before we move on otherwise you'll find it difficult um, if you found this video helpful again make sure to subscribe and look out for a new video